Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new video for Azure PowerShell series that we are doing. In this video, we will see how to format the Azure PowerShell command let output. I hope that you have been liking this video series till now and I request you to please subscribe to my channel, mention in your feedbacks in the comment section. That's way, that, this way it will help me to make more videos and on new topics. And I would also like to tell you about my course that I'm making on Azure Automation. It will be completed very soon. I know it's been delayed. I'm in planning to make more courses. That is a paid course. I would mention the link of that course in this video description. So let me just quickly log on to Azure PowerShell and sign into the portal. Okay, I am going to log in. Log in Azure RM account. takes some, some time initially don't think that you have done something wrong okay I'm gonna mention my password all right I'm logged in let's run let's see what it gives because I deployed two VMs okay my VMs are ready let me just be back so by default, the formatting and conversion eat Azure PowerShell commandlet has predefined formatting of output, making it easy to read. So let's say you want to uh, do the format custom commandlet, you can convert it to CSV. You want to use format list commandlet, you can convert it to HTML. You can use format table for JSON, format wide for XML. PowerShell also provides the flexibility to adjust the output or convert the command let output and below are the examples. So let me show you what I'm talking about using different examples. So when you run this command get Azure RMVM, you get the output like this, like resource group name, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. So let, let's say if you would like to limit the columns returned, you can use the format table command let. So I'm going to use the same command and in this example we get the same list of virtual machines but we will make sure that we restrict the output to just the name of the VM and the resource group and the location so you what we do is we use pipeline for this and now we'll use format tree I'm going to auto update it you just press the tab format tree, and you'll automatically do the format table thing now let's say you only want name and location so you will mention name location it should be here or you can also want resource group name let's see what we get see so auto size is used uh, that size is the column according to the size of the data let see you if you will see the above example it's all scattered it's not all set properly under the name under the heading right but if I use auto size the auto size will make sure that the the columns are sized accordingly to the size of the data the length of the text that is mentioned here if you will see if I use uh, if you will see the nickname or the provisioning state is not right so if I use uh, provisioning state then the zones if I hit this see now it makes sense provisioning state is succeeded zones it is here you can also use uh, neck let's see what we get there is no entry under NIC. You would not have known it if you would not see this. 
and as i told you we can use format table we can use format format list as well so if i use uh, let me clear the screen get azure rmvm pipeline format list and i want name i want location i want resource group name see name location resource group name name location resource group name it's a list of vms this is my one vm test asser when this is asser when two right same way you can convert to other data types see powershell also allows taking command output and convert it into multiple data formats let's see uh, we use get azure rmvm i use select object i am using resource group name i use vm id i use name and let's say i want to con i'm going to run this get azure vm it will pipeline it will select these three object of the get azure vm commandlet then it will again pipeline and will convert it to csv i'm going to use no type information so what this is used to get attributes of the virtual machines in the subscription and convert the output to the csv so i am only selected to my pay as you go subscription it will get these attributes and will convert it to csv so this is the format of the csv I, if i would have to convert to csv if i would have mentioned the name of the csv then i would have been able to open it it can also be converted it to json right you just have to mention convert to json template like this see it has converted it to a json it has mentioned if you would have checked the arm templates and the json template of any resource in the azure i will let show you in further videos you will see that the json template looks like this this is the parameter this is the value this is the parameter this is the value right so this is how you do it this is i hope this was informative to all of you as i mentioned earlier please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video